Hello everyone. So I am back at university, back in my room. It is now Lent term, or well, term actually hasn't started yet. Term officially starts next week. Today is Saturday and I moved in a couple of days ago. Over the last few days, my friends have all been moving back in as well. So we've all been catching up after the holiday. Obviously, I've just been spending a bit of time getting myself sorted, doing the Sainsbury's shop playing a few games with my friends, board games, card games, but I've got so much work to do. It was a very busy holiday because I had computing projects to do over the holiday and they're not actually due until April, but I wanted to get them done early so that I could just revise over the Easter holiday and not have to worry about getting these computing projects done. These computing projects count for over 10% of my grade this year, so I did want to do a decent job at them, but unfortunately my plan to finish them over the Christmas holiday completely failed, and I reckon I'm only about halfway through these computing projects which is a little demoralizing, but the plan is to finish them in all the free time I have this term because obviously I have so much free time here. So yeah, it looks like this term is gonna be hectic. As a result of me spending so much time doing these computing projects over the holiday, I've barely done any of the work that I needed to hand in at the start of this term. So I've got a few deadlines next week that I haven't done the work for yet. So it's a bit of a mad rush now this week to get everything done. I feel so behind, yet I've been working so hard. So it's just not fair really, is it? I'm doing what I can anyway. My desk is full of papers now. The trouble is I've got all these question sheets to do, but I'm not too confident on the lecture content they're based on. So I'm having to go through the lecture content first to teach it to myself and then do the questions. This evening, I'm going to a talk at the Master's Lodge because the new master of the college has introduced these new in the business of talks. Basically, she's got people coming in from lots of different business areas and they talk about their careers. The people giving the talk this evening both work in media. I'll tell you more about it afterwards. And that's the plan for the day work, go to this talk, socialise with my friends, and then keep working tomorrow. And we're just going to keep working. My first deadline is on Monday, which is in two days time. The work is not finished for it yet. So got to be focused. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone. So it's Sunday now. I sat in my armchair for a long time yesterday evening. I quite enjoyed having a more chill evening yesterday. I was very content just sitting down reading my New Scientist magazine and this video is actually really kindly sponsored by New Scientist. For those of you who haven't heard of it, New Scientist is both a science and technology weekly magazine and a science news website. I can genuinely say I love their magazine, so I'm very excited to be working with them. They have weekly issues which you can get either by print subscription or digital subscription, and they're packed with really cool articles on different areas of science, and they're all written in a really easily accessible way, so you don't have to be a science mastermind to be able to understand it. As a university student, I've just been enjoying reading New Scientist in my downtime. It struck me also that these magazines would be really good for anyone who's preparing to go to university or into further education. People often advise you to read around the subject. New Scientist is perfect for this. It keeps you up to date with all the latest science news. You can learn about stuff from reading these magazines, which you can then talk about in interviews. You can write in your personal statement or a cover letter. I was reading quite a lot of this last night. I got quite engrossed. <laughs> As an astrophysics student, I get particularly excited when I see any article relating to space. This issue had an article on fast radio bursts. I'd actually heard of fast radio bursts before reading this article because a few other people on my course are writing literature reviews on fast radio bursts. They are blasts of radio waves that last a very short time, a few milliseconds, and we don't know what causes them. They're from some sort of high energy astrophysical events. They also sometimes repeat. So in this article, it talks about a research group watching in the direction of two different fast radio burst sources and comparing them. And one of them did 
regular repeats while the other one I didn't see any activity from. And the other article I really liked in this issue was one about the Mars 2020 rover. So it's scheduled to launch in July, I believe the article says. Yep. And this is it. And it's in this room, which is like a clean room. People are only allowed in in these suits. It says here, these restrictions are even more severe for engineers working on the most sensitive parts of the rover who aren't allowed to shower before work for fear of soap residue. A subscription to New Scientist can either be a print subscription, so you get it delivered to your door, or a digital subscription, so you can get an app and get all the weekly issues on this app. With the subscription, you also get full access to the New Scientist website and their digital archives. You can watch videos of New Scientist live talks and also access free digital editions of their book series. And if you follow the link in the subscription box below, it will take you to a page where you can access an exclusive offer for a 10 week subscription for just 10 pounds. Hello everyone, so I thought I'd do a quick update. Just handed in my first piece of work. I'm currently at the IOA site at the moment, so I've just handed in that piece of work. My supervision for it is in a couple of days time before lectures start, so it's actually gonna be quite good to get that out of the way. And I've been working quite hard these last few days, and I'm feeling a bit better about last term's content now. There was this whole section of my dynamics lecture course, which was on the collisionless Boltzmann equation, distribution functions and a load of other model stuff that I haven't actually looked over yet but I'm understanding it a lot better now and last term because I had to skip a few lectures to catch up with other work I was thinking oh this is all impossible now I'm feeling a lot more positive I'm gonna head back to my room now I've got a few admin bits to do first this afternoon to take a few bits off my to-do list so it stresses me out if that gets too long so I need to send a few emails and whatnot and then I need to get onto my next piece of supervision work, which is due at some point next week. But my lectures start in a few days time. And I know I'm going to be getting very busy after that. So I need to get ahead. In the evenings, I've mostly been playing board games with my friends. I've been staying up quite late, like past midnight for the past few days and then getting up about 9.30, not starting work till 10.30. So I'm going to have to change my sleep schedule for when lectures start. Yeah, it's all quite positive. It's just nice to be back with my friends this week. And yeah. The other good news is my bike has two working bike brakes now. What a luxury. I went through half of last term with only one working bike brake, which is actually probably quite dangerous and I should have got that sorted earlier. But yeah, now I've sorted it. Took it to the bike shop. On Tuesday, I headed into the college library for the first time in 2020. So I just did an hour and a half in the library, which is good. I'm now breaking for lunch. I didn't start that early today because I went out for coffee this morning with a friend, but that was quite focused studying I did just then. So if I can keep that up after lunch, ideal. I'm feeling pleased with myself because I just cracked a problem that I really didn't understand. It was like the condition where the velocity distribution is axisymmetric and I just, I didn't really think it through. But it's all good now. Okay, I have consumed lunch. Um, had a good chat with my friends in the kitchen. Enjoyable. It's very windy today. It's been about an hour though. And an hour is all I've allowed myself for lunch today. An hour is plenty. Back to work. Oh, I think I might be going away today. Um, just left the library. It's now dark as you can see. My brain's a bit fried. So I need a bit of a break. And then I'll go for dinner with my friends. Card game. What are you losing? <laughs> yeah. Your vlog, you lose. They just lose it. I thought one of them was an end. This is probably going to be like. Here's me regretting my life choices when I stayed up until about two o'clock in the morning playing cards when I knew full well I had work to do the next day. I just had a meeting with my director of studies. I'm just going to go and get a coffee. Okay, I've obtained coffee. I'm now back at my desk. I've got. A couple of hours until I need to go to a supervision which is on this work so I kind of want to be really clued up on it and really on it with this module so like I know what I'm doing in the supervision. Maybe that's wishful thinking. I guess I know what I know. There's just quite a lot to know and there's a lot that I don't know. Yeah so I had my meeting with my director of studies. My director of studies is lovely, like really helpful. I brought up that I felt like 
I hadn't had much time to do a revision of my lecture courses over the holiday because I'd been trying to get my computing projects out of the way, which is my coursework for this year. But the computing projects have been really, really hard over the holiday just because I don't have much programming experience and they start off by giving you some mathematical equation and they barely give you any instruction. They just say, write a program to solve this. And I'm like, how? I just haven't learned any of these things. So I need to go off and teach myself all this stuff and then do it. And you're not allowed to ask any questions on it. But yeah, my director of studies was like, this is where time management comes in. Choose to dedicate five days or something to this computing project and then call it quits. And my mum would tell me it's the rule of diminishing returns and that you need to move on because you can probably get more marks elsewhere than by stressing over the little things that are not right in the computing project except i feel like i haven't even got like even the skeleton of one of my projects done lots to be thinking about lots to be doing it's very busy here i accidentally stayed up really late last night that's a really good coffee caramel latte skinny I love it a lot. I literally said yesterday I was going to go to bed early last night and try and reset my sleep schedule so that I'd be able to get up in time for lectures tomorrow. I ended up staying up till two o'clock playing cards, but I feel like now's the time to do it. I am also a student. I'm allowed to have a bit of fun. I'm allowed to have a break. I did do some hard work yesterday. I didn't get up that late today. I have been doing work this morning, so I'm trying not to be too hard on myself. I think I'm doing okay. My first supervision of term was actually quite successful. And here I'm just cycling back from the OBS building. Hello vlog, I am playing cards. Um, I went to my supervision earlier, it was actually a really good supervision. I learned the direction of the Gaussian integral, which I've used so much, so I've never knew direction before. Had dinner. Now I am learning a card game that I kind of know. Um, yeah. And I'm going to end the vlog here, so thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, go follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!